Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here. I have a couple old glass bottles that I found out at my local shooting area today. I was out picking up some brass and I found these. There's tons of bottles out there. And uh, these two I uh, liked particularly well uh, for the simple fact that they have a metal it's like an aluminum lid on them and so you're probably wondering wow dude uh, what are you gonna do with those well that's what I'm gonna show you in this video so I'm gonna take these bottles and I'm gonna wash them real quick and then I'll be back okay everybody I'm back I got these bottles nice and washed up I'm gonna go ahead and take the lids off and just kinda let them sit for a minute let them dry not that big of a deal and while they're sitting there I'm gonna reach over and grab a finish nail and a hammer okay so I have here in my hand a small finish nail and what I want to do is I want to take these caps set them down upside down let me just set these bottles so they won't fall I'll move them away for a second and I want to take my nail right in the center and just pop a little hole through nothing too, nothing too fancy just a little hole now one thing that I want to point out is you see this uh, rough edge right here pointing up I want to keep that because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a string through there and this is basically gonna be a wick and I want this little burr pointed up so that it'll let the string go up but not down okay so make sure that you leave that little burr there you don't have to get too crazy about poking through okay doesn't have to be anything significant those look fine I might go a little deeper on this one so that's what we have right there okay so here's the string I'm gonna be using this is yarn I got it at Walmart it's a hundred percent cotton and you basically want to make a length that's quite a bit longer than the depth of the uh, bottle and cut it into lengths there so there's one for that one make sure that you're being very conservative with the string or, or not conservative I'm trying to say make sure that you're very sparing with it be generous give it plenty of string at this point you want to poke it through from the bottom up this part might be a little difficult and if it is that's okay that's kind of what we want we want the string to kind of be stuck like that okay so that one's done and I'm just wetting the tip of it here in my mouth just to kind of hold the threads together so that I can push it through this one might be a little more difficult because it has that little liner thing in there so I'm gonna take that liner out and I'll be right back okay so here's what we have I basically just tore a little bit out around the lid just enough to poke my my string through and what I did was I took the nail and I kinda of folded the jagged parts in to hold the string a little tighter from here I'm gonna take a little funnel and I'm gonna pour some fluid into these bottles doesn't have to be a lot the cool thing about these uh, type of oil lamps is with a small amount of fuel they'll burn 
for a long, long time. Okay, one thing that I like to recommend is to take the string and really get it drenched really good. Now, I know I'm using the long string on this short bottle, but that's because I want to get the string all coated in this fluid. You could use a little cup or whatever you need to do to get the string coated. But you want to get as much fluid on it as you can because, again, we're turning this into a wick. So that one's coated pretty well. Just put it down in there and we got to get a little bit more. See, we're, we're clearly at the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to pull the string up until I get to the moist part. Go ahead and close it. We got a moist wick there, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the wick off. I left about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch hanging out. And I want to do the same thing with this one. Get it nice and wet. You know, you can kind of move the fluid up, kind of coat it that way if you want. So I'm just kind of closing, just kind of drenching it. Now in this one, it coated it real well, so I don't really have to cut that wick. All right, let's take a look and see how these how these burn. The longer the wick is, the higher the flame will be. But the cool thing is, as the oil starts to burn, the wicks will come. They'll get a little smaller. So I'm going to kill some of these lights so you can see a little better what the flames look like. Okay, so there you have it. There's two oil lamps made out of just standard bottles that I found out at my local shooting area. They had the aluminum lids on them and it makes a very good little oil lamp. Like I said, uh, these lamps will burn for hours, for days. So, again, I want to say thank you. I hope you found some useful info on this video. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a comment, subscribe. And again, thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye now. 6.10. And no, that's not the time. That's how long this has been burning. Not six minutes and ten seconds. Six hours and ten minutes. And we're barely using hardly any fuel. So almost seven hours, you know six hours ten minutes and that's the amount of fuel we burned puts out a beautiful flame